All right, hello and welcome everybody to Disco Dodgeball Alpha. I am Stack Crooked, showing off this awesome new quirky game. So yesterday on Reddit Indie Games, I was checking out a thread. Somebody said they were building a multiplayer dodgeball FPS. And so I just had to check it out. Basically, you're in control of a robot on a wheel. You have to go around collecting dodgeballs and shooting them at your opponents. It is super fun fast-paced action, and you can just jump right into it. Also, as a note, any type of slowness or glitchiness, I would attribute that to Fraps. The game is much smoother when it, <laughs> I wasn't using it, so if it doesn't look too smooth, just have that in mind. But anyway, yeah, the objective is to just, you know, pelt your opponents with dodgeballs, and try not to get pelted yourself. It's super fun. Right now, the maps are medium size, you know, two on two. But with more community involvement, and as this gets more attention, it can grow and develop into something very, very cool. I think this has a ton of potential, and I played this for like half an hour straight and was having a blast the entire time. So, I would like to see more of this. So, I will definitely post the Reddit thread in the description, as well as another subreddit. The creator, Eric, made a special subreddit dedicated just for his game called Disco Dodgeball. I will link that as well, where he will pretty much post updates about the game. And a Kickstarter was mentioned, so hopefully we'll get to see that in the future and see where this game is going. See, I was just playing. It's not perfect, as you can see here that I left this in. Um, clearly my team did not win because we had the last point, but whatever. Surely the kinks will be worked out in time. So here was another game that I played uh, against this guy Roet. Just kill each other here. You know, this guy's bringing his A game. Doing pretty good. You know, try to... Try to charge this guy and... No, that doesn't work. He just picks up the ball and just pelts me with it. And just here, he, he just takes out my friend Elliot who was on my team. So I try to put him down, you know chase him down, and he just turns around and like, insta-kills me. Finally though, my friend Elliot was able to put him down from his kill streak. And I say my friend Elliot, but this is just a random person. But there was a sense of camaraderie there. Uh, but then, just like that, Roet takes down my team yet again. So at this point I'm thinking, you know, I've got to bring my A game. This scrub gameplay is not going to bring down Roet. And I shoot and miss, and that's, that's, that's not my A game, it's not good enough. But Rowett, being the master that he is, in a few seconds, decides, you know, this is too easy. He scrubs. I'm gonna leave in venture of better opponents. And he makes way for the greatest name player of all time. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can just uh, marvel at that guy's name. I'm not gonna read it out. <laughs> at this point, I was losing my mind. It was hilarious. I was pretty much rolling. So yeah, you can see that you can pretty much give yourself a ridiculous name. So if you feel so inclined, then please come check out the game and be as ridiculous as you want. I think a chat system was implemented or will be, but I'm not really sure about that. But I will be keeping up with the subreddit so I can see where this game is going and have a hell of a lot of fun in it. <laughs> it is really, really fun and I suggest you all check it out. Right now the controls are basically movement. You can press shift to move faster for a short amount of time, like I just did there. You can see your boost meter in the bottom left. So like I had mentioned, any glitchiness or slowness or lag or anything of that nature is probably due to fraps. I would attribute those things to fraps. Otherwise the game is actually very fast paced and smooth. Interestingly enough, the creator mentioned his inspiration for creating this game, and that was also interesting for me. He mentioned GoldenEye 64, and I loved that game growing up, and he mentioned that his inspiration was playing on a License to Kill mode, which is the one-hit kill mode with rocket launchers or knives, and he wanted to emulate that in this game. So it's fun that a game like GoldenEye would inspire a game like this, and that also drew me to it. 
Here the video jumps because after a certain time I decided to turn off wraps because it was kind of slowing down gameplay like I had mentioned. It is very smooth otherwise. And also to show off the score, basically it's the first team to 25 wins and then at the end everyone's stats are displayed. Not everyone's but it's basically like most kills, most deaths, most ricochet kills, things like that. And this is another last game I played. It was very fun, fast paced. My team is up. We need one more kill to win. The Blues are scared. Not coming out. Alex and I got this. And oh shit, oh shit. I don't know what he's gonna do. But he's a brave man. He comes out flying. I miss. And I think I'm stunned. No, but he misses for some reason. Or I guess he can just shoot. And bam, just like that. Awesome. And so yeah, that is Disco Dodgeball. Please check it out. Please give this guy, Eric, some support. And I'll see you all next time.